and welcome back to another tutorial so we have faced actually i have faced it a lot of time when my stakeholder or the product owner or you can say the end user are asking for the pdf to the to the dashboard or to the home page means how exactly the home page is looking okay so if they want to see or if they want to see the statistic base from the dashboard okay uh, so uh, they will ask for the export for the same and we don't have any provision for the same right so what I used to do I used to just take the screenshot for the same and then I used to share the screenshot but then I it came to my mind is there any feature already present in service now which can do it for me okay and I was exploring out for the same and I got one plugin okay which does this for us so in today's tutorial we will be seeing on a, on a one important rarely used but important plugin okay which gives us the provision to export the dashboard and home page into uh, in a pdf document okay so let's jump into it so first of all i will give you a background of what the plugin so if you can see on my screen in a second okay so this is the plugin okay the, what this plugin does is enable pdf export of dashboard and home page okay and the name of the plugin is webkit html to pdf okay so what we'll be doing we'll just copy it out okay and i will show you how you can install this plugin out to the system so what you have to do you have to just go to system definition definition and under system definition if you scroll down okay you will be seeing a module called plugin so I will just open it into new tab okay and let's see so this is where you can see all the plugins okay which are installed in the system which are available to be installed in the system all the things okay so it will take some time to get load okay so we'll wait for it to happen Come on. It always takes time for me to get all the plugins loaded. Okay, so I will just minimize the screen to see if we have something. So till then, I will just give you the introduction to the steps. So basically, how to enable this plugin now. You have to just navigate to system definition plugin so again search for this plugin and just simply activate it out if it's already being activated and it's not working on you so you can simply repair it out so you can see there are 1946 plugins available on the system okay so i'll just search for this i have already installed it out as you can see over here if you have not installed it out you will you you will be able to see the install button over here you have to just click on that this, you will get a prompt okay just click ok on the prompt which will be like acceptance okay I, you want to uh, install that plugin and that's it okay so once you install this plugin what changes you will be seeing okay so you will be seeing a download option PDF download option on dashboard as well as home page how how it looks I will show you so I will just go to the screen okay and this is a home page for instance so on this home page if you have not installed this plugin you will not be seeing this button okay this button over here at the right corner okay which call which states export to pdf and if i click on this to export to pdf currently i don't have any widgets available on the dashboard if you have widgets then also it's fine and you get a lot of option whether uh, first it asks for orientation whether you, you want it on portrait mode or landscape mode paper size which is pretty good factor what kind of zoom percentage you want you want page break or not smart sync all these things okay and you also get a option to send it over email so if you provide an email you can send it directly over there so i will simply go with generate for now and see it started exporting it will query everything out it will start exporting it out and if i download it out so it will get downloaded or oh, i will store it on the desktop only and this how it looks okay Currently, I don't have, so you can see the entire perfect uh, snippet for the home page. I don't have any widget, that's why it's looking like this. Okay, if 
in other case okay now we have look how it looks in on the home page now we'll see how we can see the similar option on the dashboard also which is pretty important for me because uh, i have created a lot of dashboard in, in my project okay and every now and then i uh, i i uh, people used to ask me okay can you share the dashboard snippet for me so that they can analyze on the same okay so for that let's take any dashboard which is present in the system so i will simply search for any dashboard if oh there is an instant instant sketch dashboard present so let's just open it on this so i'm just opening it out ah uh, it takes some time dashboard So it's getting load. Hmm. The instance is pretty slow to get. Okay, so this this is a dashboard. Okay, you can see for instance scan. Okay, now if I want to, I want to export it out. Um, export it out. Okay, how I can I can export it out as a PDF. Okay. Now you will be seeing this option. No, this out of the box option already present for sharing. This is not the option. In the dashboard view, you will be finding that option over here. You have to click on the hamburger menu, and here you will be finding the option to export to PDF. So if I do export to PDF, the same option, it will ask print all tabs. Yes, I want to print all tabs. Okay, the similar option, and if I export it out, let's see how it works over here. So save and it got exported into a PDF format. Now if I open it out, not showing anything because there is nothing present on my dashboard. Also, there is no data itself. So if you have the data, it will show it properly, the proper format. <coughs> 